Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with another tip for you. Just like I've had people ask me about the camera fi uh, version of adding logos to the corner and adding picture in picture, we're going to do the same thing with uh, Prism Live Studio. There's a little bit of a hoop you have to run through, but I'll go through that right now. So we're going to open up a live setup. We're not going to press live yet. We're just going to set it up. So you're going to do the same type of swipe from right to left. And as we swipe from right to left, uh, we're going to add media to our My Studio tab here. So what we're going to add is some photos. Now, just like on Camerafy, it's very important that you make a folder so it makes life much easier for you, especially if you're doing this on the field. So if I click here on media, I have, you know, all my different uh, folders. And so I made a folder called Prism Images. And I will obviously put all my Prism images that I want. So I would, if I were you, I would make a Prism Images folder or album. And uh, that's a nice, convenient and organized way to put all your photos together. So we're going to click on the photo that we want. We're going to select it and add it. And of course, we can add as many or as few pictures as we want. And at the same time, let's go ahead and add a text box. So we have, uh, we're going to put like, um, let's see, maybe some captions just like this, maybe a th lower third caption. And we're going to go ahead and put here my name. And we're just going to go ahead and put a uh, uh, live stream right here. And um, if you'd like to know, I'm using a Bluetooth keyboard, actually using the Magic Keyboard um, from Apple. And since it's Bluetooth, it'll work fine with this Android phone, which is pretty cool because I love the larger keys on the keyboard. And there we have it. So we could say done here. And now we have our two elements. We're going to select one of the elements. We're going to uh, pinch to zoom to make it smaller. That's one thing I loved about Camerafy. See, each each program has its advantage. On Camerafy, you don't have these guiding lines that'll help you not put everything right on the edge. So that's pretty awesome, except the problem is now it doesn't have a way to make your photo uh, smaller unless you use pinch to zoom. And that's not a deal breaker, but uh, you have to touch the screen and I'd rather use my mouse in this case. So once you let go of it, it becomes your upper third here. And again, we could move our camera around and it stays up on the corner there. And of course, to say by the same token, you can do picture in picture or you can do this right here. Again, you have to pinch to zoom to make it work. And then once you leave it alone, it starts animating. And in some cases, these animations go away, just like you saw there. And basically, that's how you add a, a picture on the upper left-hand corner or upper right-hand corner. In order to get rid of it, you just click on it once, and it goes away from the live stream. You can move it around or just close it out. And of course, to bring it back, you just bring it back. It goes back to where it came from. So you could have it stay there, have it go away and then bring it back to the same position, okay? So if you have any other questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. Have a wonderful day.